I get. How come some ice rinks have fog and some don't? A lot of older ice rinks are not equipped with dehumidification systems. They come in all shapes, all sizes. They can do one, two, three, and four, or even more rinks at a time, depending on the size of the unit. It's dehumidification issues. What you get is you'll get condensation on your glass. Your boards will be wet. Walls will be wet. Ceilings will drip, and your ice will not be uh, frozen. It'll have a, a layer of water on the top of it. We run here a Munter system, which is a supreme system. It feeds two of our rinks and does an unbelievable job. We're up here on the roof. And this is the Munchers unit that we have here. And this is an A306 model. And this one feeds two of our rinks. We have uh, two full-size rinks, uh, two-sided bleachers. Basically what this system does is it captures rink air, moist rink air, brings it into the firing unit, puts it into this conducting wheel, ejects the exhaust and vapor out the side unit here, and returns completely dry air back into the arena. This unit is so critical to ice rings, especially in warm states and warm areas in the summertime. If this unit goes down, you have hours, maybe less than hours, before moisture starts taking over the rink. What we do here is we actually remote monitor this unit. I know at any given time, if this unit goes down in the nighttime, the daytime, or a weekend, I'm immediately alerted and we can get on it. This is the power board here, and we're actually going to fire it back on so that uh, it is hot out today, so we're not going to give it a chance to... Uh, do us any damage. Here, one more thing on the dehumidification. When we do get heat in this arena, we have a vaulted ceiling, so it actually naturally brings the heat to rise to the highest point, including the propane when we're working. What we have is called the ceiling are four foot by four foot, and we have two of them run duly together is an exhaust fan, and it actually exhales anything that works its way up. So we always have a good, clean surface, and it really helps out with the dehumidification, even on the really hot days when it's really giving that munchers unit a lot of work to do.